Hey everybody, this is Ashton and Jordan from Show Me Vegas. And today we've got a video that's a little bit different than what we've done in the past. But before we get into that, take a second and give this video a thumbs up. And also don't forget to subscribe. We're somewhat new to YouTube, but we also have a Facebook page out there that I'm gonna give you the address to on the screen right now. And also a Facebook group that you can join. So uh, be sure to check that out before you go any further. We consider ourselves to be M-Life aficionados. That is that we've stayed at six different MGM properties on the Strip, and we've spent a lot of time and money at these places. Yeah, that's right. We've eaten at so many of the restaurants, seen so many of the shows, and spent a lot of time in all of these properties to the point where we might just be experts on living the M-Life in Las Vegas. So we thought it would be fun to take what we've learned and put it into a video ranking the MGM properties from the very bottom to the top. Now keep in mind this is purely subjective. It's completely based on our tastes and preferences and our experiences at these resorts. Your tastes may differ and that's okay. But also keep in mind that this is only the MGM resorts in Las Vegas. So if your favorite hotel isn't on the list, that's why. So without further ado, let's get to the list. Coming in last on our list is Excalibur Hotel and Casino. Now it probably isn't any surprise to you to see Excalibur at the bottom of the list as it is the cheapest and one of the oldest of the MGM resorts. Excalibur is the last hotel in the M-Life portfolio we'd choose to stay at and because of that it's one of the few that we haven't. We have however spent a fair amount of time in the casino and walking about and all in all it's a fine option for those on a tighter budget. It has a good vibe in the casino, affordable food options, and several entertainment options including the Fun Dungeon, one of the biggest arcades in Las Vegas. Number 8, Luxor Hotel and Casino. Now some people say Luxor is becoming obsolete due to the Egyptian theme, but we have always enjoyed the iconic pyramid. We recently had the opportunity to film a one-bedroom tower suite that is currently up on our channel, and although slightly outdated, overall a nice, clean, and spacious room. The casino has a great atmosphere with several different restaurants and entertainment lineups, such as the Titanic Museum, Carrot Top, and for a little bit more of a risque option, Fantasy. Number 7, New York, New York Hotel and Casino. Now it almost seems unfair to put this property so far down the list because we've always loved the atmosphere, but the rooms are dated, the pool is well below average, and the casino is on the smaller side. Now don't get us wrong, we still love New York, New York, but the other M-Life properties have some amenities this property just can't match. On the bright side, the New York skyline is a very cool touch, the proximity to T-Mobile Arena and the park is a plus, and the hotel has one of our very favorite hangouts in Tom's Urban which has great food and a great spot right on the strip. Number 6, MGM Grand Hotel and Casino. The largest of the MGM properties on the strip, this hotel offers several great dining and bar options from high end to fast food. Many think because of its size, the casino is lacking in character, and I would say that's fair. We stayed there last year and the regular rooms are not luxurious, but they are big and clean. But in our opinion, the gem of this hotel is the pool complex. It offers one of the best atmospheres of any pools on the Strip. So if you're coming during those hot months and wanting a great pool, you can't go wrong with the MGM Grand. Number 5, Mandalay Bay and Delano. Now I realize these are technically two separate hotels, but they do share the same piece of real estate and Delano depends on Mandalay Bay for the casino, restaurants, and bars, so we'll lump them together for this countdown. Mandalay Bay is a beautiful property with nice rooms, tons of amenities, great dining options, amazing lounges, and one of the best pool scenes in Las Vegas known as Mandalay Bay Beach. The only detractor here in our opinion is location, which can feel pretty isolated. Yes, there is normally a private monorail to Luxor and Excalibur, but even by then, you're still far from the center of the action. This is one of the least walkable hotels on the Strip, and that's the only reason it's not higher on our list. Number 4, The Mirage. 
Opened in 1989, the Mirage is the oldest MGM property on the Strip, but it remains as popular as ever. Its iconic volcano show still is a staple of the Las Vegas Strip that attracts thousands of spectators per year. This may sound strange, but one of my favorite things about the casino is the scent. If you go to Vegas often, you know what I'm talking about. It has a beautiful casino that gives you all the tropical feels as soon as you walk through the front doors. Our last day at this property was the summer of 2018. The rooms were very clean and nicely decorated, although the only downfall are the bathrooms, which are extremely small, a direct result of the hotel opening in the late 80s. This resort also offers a fantastic pool, the secret garden, as well as one of our favorite Cirque shows, The Beatles Love. Number 3. Bellagio What more can you say other than this is possibly the most iconic hotel on today's Las Vegas Strip? The fountains have a way of taking your breath away every time you see them regardless of how many times you've been there. Yes, the hotel has lost a little bit of its luster since the days when Steve Wynn ran the show, but the Bellagio remains one of the premier luxury hotels on the Strip and the casino is still as beautiful as ever. We stayed at the Bellagio in 2019, and while our room was nice, it was a little bit worn out. But a room renovation of the main tower is now underway, which should help the hotel regain some of its former glory. And let's not forget, location, location, location. Bellagio is, and will always be, right in the heart of the action. Number 2. Park MGM and Nomad to be fair, this hotel ranks highly for us as a sentimental favorite. Formerly known as the Monte Carlo, this casino will always hold a special place in my heart as it was the first biggest hotel and casino I have ever stayed at. With the recent remodel and rebranding, the casino vibe has certainly gained momentum along with several new restaurants, bars, and attractions, one of the most popular being Italy, an Italian marketplace. Wanting a room with a more luxurious feel? The Nomad Hotel occupies the top floors of this resort and offers a separate lobby, bar and restaurant that certainly did not disappoint. This property's prime south strip location between the park and RA Resort and Casino doesn't hurt either. Number 1. Aria Resort and Casino and Vidara Again, these are technically separate hotels, but since Vidara is so similar, it's literally just steps away and it doesn't have a casino of its own, we're okay with lumping these two together again. Aria is the new money luxury hotel in the M-Life portfolio and has, since the first time we set foot in it, been our favorite hotel in all of Las Vegas. Aria features a modern and contemporary feel throughout, and from the second you arrive at the main valet station, it just has that wow factor. It also offers some of the best basic rooms on the Strip, and the suites are to die for. Combine all of that with perhaps the best collection of restaurants any hotel in Las Vegas has to offer, and you've got an amazing property that we think is the best hotel in the MGM Resorts portfolio. So that's the list. I hope you found this video informative and entertaining. If you did like this video, be sure and give us a like and a subscribe. And also go check us out on our Facebook page as well. It's www.facebook.com slash showmevegasmo. It's on the screen right now. Go over there and check that out and give us a like and follow out there. We're in Las Vegas this week, so don't miss anything on both Facebook and YouTube. Again, thanks for watching and we'll see you on our next video.